What is up guys? Welcome back. My name is Charles, MX Revival, mxrevival.com. And if you thought last week's suspension giveaway was badass, you're about to shit your pants because I'm about to crack open your giveaway engine. Hopefully you don't actually shit your pants. That would be messy and kind of gross. Now I saw a preview of this sucker on Instagram via the Hassaker Racing Engines Instagram page, so I cannot wait to crack this open for you. We're also going to dive into your bike's super trick fuel system. And then of course I have some brand new MX parts giveaways, so stay tuned for that because they almost always revolve around whatever it is I'm showcasing. Having said that guys this giveaway is going to be huge so stop missing out and get your asses entered on mxrevival.com The link is below and if you won last week's giveaway your name will also be in the description below Last week AHM factory services allowed me to hook you guys up with both front and rear fork and shock rebuilds Bushings oil labor seals all of it completely comped so congratulations to you guys down below That is a big victory and now if you're entered and you haven't won yet guys my fingers are crossed for you. I want you to win something so bad and I have been slinging prizes left and right. So your turn's coming up, I can feel it. Last week I also dropped a new comment giveaway which does not get you entered to win the bike, but I picked two comments that I really liked. Both of you won the Ray Ray Hold My Beer Hats, just a super cool snapback that my buddy makes. So congratulations to you guys. I asked you what your favorite part of the build was and you guys kicked out some really cool and also really thoughtful answers. So congratulations and thank you for those comments. And then lastly there seems to be a little bit of confusion Fusion between the comment giveaways and actually entering to win the bike which gets you entered to win all the MX parts giveaways they are two totally different things I think most of you guys understand that by now there's only one way to enter to win this bike and dropping a comment will never be one of them that's just something extra I like to do for you and so maybe we'll solidify all that with another comment giveaway right now so for this week's comment giveaway I want you guys to tell me what you're gonna do with Thundercracker when you win I want you to use your imagination and let me know if you're gonna send it right off a big ass triple or if you're gonna keep this thing on the side of the fireplace in the house nice and shiny. For me it's 50-50. I'm leaning kind of towards the living room side of things, but then again I wouldn't mind rolling this sucker out of the back of the moto van at the motocross track either. And so regardless, this week I'm going to be giving away another ceramic coated brake systems, both front and rear from Sandal Metal Finishing. Our second ceramic coated brake winner, Eugene Boydston, also donated his back into the contest just like Dustin Jantz did. And so if it weren't for him we wouldn't have a comment giveaway this week. And I really love how generous you guys are. So tell me below, what the hell are you going to do with Thundercracker when you win? and I'll announce a comment giveaway winner next week. So that's enough of all that. Let's crack this engine open. I've got your engine right down here in this box. And if you've been with me for a while, ah, you guys know I like to ship engines in igloo coolers. That way, if the thing flies out of the UPS man's truck and tumbles across the ground, it's totally safe. They're completely insulated. And then we just use three inch wood screws to secure the lid. We zip them straight down through the lid into the side of the cooler. 70 pounds of raw power right there. So let's get this thing unscrewed and show you that engine. All right, are you guys even ready for this? I don't know if I am. Oh, yeah. Behold, your new Saran Wrap engine. All right, guys, let's take this thing to the bench and get it up on the engine stand. Here we go. Gotta be careful not to hit this thing with this razor blade. Oh my God, I can already see how badass it is. Oh my goodness. Damn. Oh, there's still so much more to see in here. Ooh. Now, what do you think of that? What do I even say, man? That's your engine. God. All right, guys, so when I broke this engine down in episode two, I sent half of the engine parts to Jim Hassaker at Hassaker Racing Engines, and I sent the other half of the parts down to Chris at Sano Metal Finishing. So Jimmy went ahead and inspected everything that goes inside the engine, make sure it was up to snuff. The crank was rebuilt and balanced. Everything else that needed to be replaced was replaced. Now the guts are nice and tight. This is a brand new engine. Meanwhile, Sano coated just about everything else in the Glock gray color. He also micro-polished the transmission using their state-of-the-art REM super finish finishing process. So this thing's going to shift like absolute butter. And while all this was happening, I went ahead and sent your cylinder out to Power Seal USA. What they did was they went ahead and replated the bore with fresh Nicosil. It was very badly worn when I took the bike apart. And then they restored a beautiful cross hatching inside the cylinder. And then when that came back with a bore matched piston, I went ahead and vapor blasted the cylinder, got it top tier shine for you. It wasn't until later in the game that I realized I needed a better set of clutch and ignition covers. So I immediately hit up my buddy Billy at Luxon MX and San 
Diego asked if he wanted to join the build, and that he did with a pair of billet machine covers for both sides versus the plastic and cast units on the stock engine. And then as soon as Santa was done hitting these with some Glock Gray Sierra Coat, they went right back to Billy. Then Billy went ahead and busted out his laser and blasted these badass Decepticon logos right into the side of both covers. They came out so amazing. And don't worry, we're gonna drop this thing in together really shortly here. And as we travel up the engine, that leads us to the crown jewel, the Fathead Racing Cylinder Head. So this thing started out as a raw aluminum unit. Then Luke went ahead and etched the project name and the Decepticon logo right into the side of it. And then we had this killer idea to send the cylinder head out with the suspension. That way AHM factory services could color match the anodizing and it would come back looking exactly the same color as the fork and shock and it panned out perfectly. Now of course the engine does not hold itself together. We're using a Bolt Motorcycle Hardware engine fastener kit. Not only do they sport a dished head which makes them look like titanium but they also have a gorgeous coat of zinc and literally every single nut, bolt, and washer is inside these kits. Crush washers, acorn nuts, cases, clutch, you name it. And they're freaking dirt cheap. They're like $30. So it's a no-brainer if you're doing an engine rebuild. Now tying everything together with a finishing move and to match the zinc on the Bolt Motorcycle Hardware Engine Fastener Kit, I went ahead and zinc plated all of the case bushings, cylinder head studs, cylinder studs, sprocket, sprocket nut, sprocket washer. Now that Jimmy and I are running the same zinc plating kits, he did some super creative stuff. Not only did he plate the output shaft for your Kickstarter, but he also did the Kickstarter knuckle and then the plate that retains the exhaust valve inside the cylinder head. So there's not one single part of this engine that was not touched, refinished, or done way better than stock. Clearly we have a very stacked field of guys on this engine build, so I'm gonna leave all the information you guys need down in the description below. I think it's safe to say we built some pretty amazing shit together. I am super proud of this. That is enough yapping, let's put this sucker in the frame. Guys, this thing looks absolutely ridiculous. Oh my God, I can lift that up a little bit more for you. By the way, you need one of these lift stands. Ooh, man. This engine is absolutely insane. I am so pumped on this. Thank you so much to everybody that helps me do what I do. Wouldn't have turned out this way otherwise, so I'm really, really proud of it. Really excited for one of you guys to win this thing. So before I get into the next topic in today's video, which is our trick fuel system, I think it's time for a moto parts giveaway. And so having said that, today guys, you're gonna be able to win one of two fat head racing cylinder heads for your two-stroke engine. As you can easily see, these heads are super cool and you can even change the dome out inside for a different power profile. Maybe you're running a different octane fuel. Of course, when you guys win, we can also take care of the engravings for you, whatever your project name might be, company, whatever. So guys, I am honored to do this giveaway today. Thank you, Luke, for doing this for everyone. These heads are the perfect cherry on top, whatever your build might be. And we're not done yet. We're going to get into that fuel system, and then I have yet another giveaway. Stop missing out, that's all I'm saying. All right, so I think what I need is inside of this here box. Let's check it out. No shortage of unboxings here on the MX Revival channel. And yes, it's exactly what I was looking for. Guys, say hello to the Billitron from Lectron. We are slapping one of these bad boys on Project Thundercracker. These things are super trick. They look amazing. They work amazing. I think some of you guys probably saw the prototype video I did. I was one of the early testers on this before it actually hit production. I got to throw one in my RM250. The torque compared to the older Electron, the H series, and then the Legacy is off the charts. This thing feels like a perfectly jetted key in down low, of course, it has no jets, so that's awesome. And definitely pumped that Lectron went ahead and threw us one of these for the Thundercracker build. And they came out with this other thing too called the Easy Tuning Kit. It's just a couple of dials on top now instead of Allen keys, and you can really quickly open up and access your slide versus the old version. So 
I really like that, just a couple of thumb dials. And if the slide's not stuck with a little oil, comes right out, so that's pretty cool. In the event you do need to make a quick rod adjustment, maybe you did something with your fuel octane or you got a new head or a pipe or something, you can just spin the rod by thumbing these dials and you're good to go. It's kind of unbelievable if you think about it, how many guys have thrown in on this project for you, for I. Electron Fuel Systems, another group of dudes I am super grateful for, especially you Brooks. As if that wasn't enough to be thankful for, guys, this is your next giveaway. Today, you can not only win one of the two fat heads, but one of you guys is taking Taking home a brand new Billitron. This is the all new Electron carburetor. We almost got one of these in the T1000, but they hadn't quite dropped yet. So this is really exciting. And like I said, I use this carburetor. I really like it. So as promised, a pretty badass giveaway on our hands. Guys, today, if you've entered to win Thundercracker, you will also be eligible for the two Fathead racing cylinder heads, as well as one Billitron from Electron. And don't forget about the comment giveaway for the free ceramic coatings for your brakes. We are getting so close to firing this bike for the first time. In fact, that's going to happen in probably the next two episodes or so. And so having said that, I've got a lot of work to do. I've got to get the subframe back on, the radiators, fill this thing with coolant, start torquing everything, get this thing ready for the wheels, decals, seat, air filter. And before long, we're going to have a little reveal on our hands, aren't we? And so guys, before I sign off, a quick recap. Don't forget to get entered. Don't forget about the comment giveaway. If you guys still haven't entered, I don't know why. You can go ahead and do so by smashing this link over here. Guys, I appreciate you. It's been an absolute pleasure getting to build this with you and for you. So much more yet to come, so much more in the tank. So until next time, shred safe and I will see you soon.